hey you guys we're gonna jump right in as I explained in the intro we are using new products shop my stash products so I wanted to go ahead and start off by telling y'all about the Laneige lip sleeping mask oh my god you guys I love this stuff always use it before applying my makeup like my liquid lips cuz y'all know I love me a liquid lip as well as I've been putting it on at night if you haven't seen my Sephora haul I don't know if it's up yet if it isn't up it will be up but I talked all about this sleeping mask a new holy grail as well as probably gonna be in a lot of my favorite videos I'm just putting it out there so I did go ahead and do my brows I did use my NYX professionals epic black liner for my eyebrows and I used my Ruby Kisses 3D face creator in level 9 you guys know I pulled this out in my shop my stash for the month of March and I will be doing shop my stash is a little bit different now thanks to a subscriber I want to give her a shout out but I can't remember her name so her name will be right here thank you so much for giving me that tip and I always appreciate any constructive criticism and any advice you guys would like for me to change up my videos for me to do videos a certain way I love all that and I listen to everything I use the face creator to carve out my brows and then I went over with my f16 hour wear concealer this one is in medium beige you guys I don't ever use this to highlight with I tried it the first time I bought it and was like oh my god so I only use this for eyeshadow base and like to brighten up my eyebrows I think I want to give you guys an updated brow tutorial like this video if you would like that because I've been doing my brows all kinds of different ways and I'm really liking the way I've been doing it lately so we're gonna start off with the same elf primer uh, concealer and I'm just gonna conceal my eyelids and just to be funny you guys I'm starting to try to learn how to keep my mouth closed when I blend close to my eye because you know that <laughs> in a lot of my videos when I'm editing I see my tongue doing this weird shit that I just don't understand what it's about <laughs> so I'm starting to try to do all my stuff like with my mouth closed oh and if you guys are not following me on snapchat or instagram I will include the handles right now you guys need to follow me there because when you don't see me here on YouTube that's where you will find me and I'm trying to get better at snapchat so we're gonna go into the festival palette by perfusions you guys I went to Walmart to hurry up and scoop this bad boy when I seen everybody getting it in their PR and I love that it has this little peel off thing now I love that it came with this but the only thing that I don't like is that the names are on this so I have to keep it I'm gonna sit it on the inside of the palette just so that I could try to keep up with it here I know you probably can't even really see it but it's right here so I did want to go ahead and give you guys like swatches and stuff but should I do that in another video but you guys I got another video idea I'm gonna do a side by side one eye will be perfusions and the other eye will be pure cosmetics the one that we got in boxycharm because they're both are called festival palettes and I think that video is gonna be so dope ah. so I think I want to start off with this dark brown which is called champ which is this one right here and I'm going to use this brush that we got in BoxyCharm. Who were they by? Luxie. And it is the 209 Large Shader Brush. I am going to use that. And we're going to start off by popping Champ right in our crease. And we're going to just pat it on at first. You know what? Let me bring you guys in.
I'm loving the palette already. And I'm just going in and blending out my eyelid before I apply that shadow. I want to make sure to keep from having any creases as much as possible. Alright you guys, um, I went ahead and did one eye off camera since my wife had called, but you guys, what I did learn about these eyeshadows is that they don't blend well together. I did a lot of trying and error before I even came back on, like, this, yeah, this is really hard and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. So, I'm going to go in with the shade Playlist. I'm going to go in with the shade Playlist, which is this burnt pinkish type of color. And I'm going to take my Morphe, to, my Morphe M521 brush. <laughs> and I'm just going to dab a little bit. And I'm going to feather it on the ends of this brown. And I'm glad I did this off camera first, one eye, because I would have been looking like, oh my God, what am I doing? What's going wrong? I'm just picking up a little bit at a time. Wince your wiper motions first and then circular motions. Right on the outer V of that champ shade. And we're taking it right at where Champ stops and blending it all the way into Champ. And it's always easier to build up versus trying to dull a color down. So I'm going to go in with my NYX blending brush. It doesn't have a number. And we're going to go right into for Fortune. Fortune gonna dab a little bit and this is where blending gets real gonna take that and bring it right here in the beginning portion of our eye very lightly like I said it's always easier to build up versus take away and you want to focus it more in the front right here and then start to bring it back into that pinky shade to where it gives a gradient effect. Take that same previous brush with little to no product on it and just make sure it's all blending into each other. Marry those colors together. Now I did take this smaller blending brush by NYX and I did go into, which is totally I want to say it was totally that I went into and worked this into the inner portion of that eye just to make it a little bit more deeper and berry. Telling you guys, it's a lot of blending going into this. So just take your time and be patient. But y'all are about to see what I mean by the colors would not mesh well together. So I'm going to take my crown brush. It's a small chisel fluffy brush. And I'm going to dip off into strobe light and winning together. A little bit of strobe light, a little bit of winning. A little bit of strobe light, little bit. Like that, okay? And we're going to pop that on our brow bone. Alright you guys, here's the hard part. 
I'm gonna let y'all watch me cut my crease because I did do a crazy like angle of a crease I'm using the same 16 hour wear by elf All right, here's where things is gonna get complicated. I am, I did dip off into the yellow. The yellow did not play out well. This yellow, I really wanted to have it pop really good on the eye, but it did not work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with the dark one first, which is Champ. Last time I went from inner to outer. This time I'm gonna go from outer to inner and hopefully that works out better. So we're going to brush champ in right here at the edges. And this is going to be like a floating cut crease. And then I'm going to take that same chisel brush by, by crown. And we're going to go into this orange, which is beet. And you guys, this is hopefully better and easier. But I had... A lot of trial and error with this and I think it's because I let the concealer dry not for sure I had to basically start all over with applying the concealer again and trying it a different way because it was just looking horrible Now we're going to go back in with winning with that same brush. I'm just dusting it off. And this is going to go on the inner corner of our eye. Now we're going to start to blend which I'm dusting off that eyeshadow brush and now we're gonna start blending those colors into each other and I know it seems like I have more orange on this side than this side and that's what we're working with to pull in that orange over. Okay, you see how it's dividing? It's looking patchy and not wanting to blend on top of each other. That's what I'm talking about. Like, it's not wanting to layer up on each other. And that's the best it's going to get. I'm going to still rock this even though she's looking a little bad. Like, I don't know how else to do it. Alright, I didn't want to have to do it again, but I'm going to have to do it again. Because it is just not working. So we're going to start this process over on this eye.
I will be on this eye all day and I really don't have that type of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move on to wing liner and we're, we're going to use our wet and wild. You guys, this look is so stressful. I need a cigarette. Like now that I'm looking at the eyes, this one comes out further than this one. I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it. It's just horrible you guys this is horrible I'm gonna do my wing liner with the mate uh, the wet and wild liquid mega liner you guys I'm all freaked up now like You guys, this look is starting to be a flop. <laughs> I'm going to take this concealer, the rest that's on my hand, and try to sharpen up our wing. All right, let's move on to the face before I just actually take this shit off. <laughs> yeah, I need a cigarette, like something bad, but... I'm not quite done with the eyes yet, but we're just going to move on and we're going to come back to the eyes because your girl is getting a little frustrated. But it is looking like a serious cat eye and that's what I was kind of going for. But as you can tell, is this one is bigger than this one. It's not even. Oh my God, you guys, you see this? This is driving me insane. But you know what? I'm keeping all these clips into this video so that you guys can see the real freaking struggle right now. I cannot make this shit up right now, you guys. It is no way I can make this shit up right now. This is real life happening. Lord Jesus, you guys. Going in with my Maybelline Dewy and Smooth in the shade 355 Coconut. I'm so messed up I forgot freaking primer. So I'm going to use my Wet n Wild face primer. It's the Jelly Mega Jelly face primer. You guys, I've been loving this. I'm going to actually let you guys watch me do my face instead of talking because now we're out of time all because of the struggles of this look Colourpop No Filter Concealer and Dark 40.
Okay, guys, it's the end of the day. I'm going to come on and just show you guys what my eyes are looking like. Do you see that? I think it was the concealer. I'm going to blame it on the concealer and not the palette. And I just wanted to show you guys that really quickly before I actually just wipe this off. But hush. But I think it was the concealer. And I forgot to use primer today. So everything just. Today was just an off day. It was just off. My brows and everything looks good. But the blending started off good like everything looks good on camera until we got to the lids so we're gonna try it another time i just wanted to tell you guys that